less loaned out. A staff member suspended. And more. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Bilo. I am Sam Gelefiwe. And I am Muslindo. And if you are joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you're wondering what this channel is about, this is where Kaiser Chiefs fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs Football Club. The conversation starts here and it continues down in the comment section. So do let us know what you think of the things that we'll be talking about today. And speaking about people that we've been engaging with, today's special shout out goes to Undogos of Show Mobagiti. As a Kushwang and Dogozo, we are not forgetting anyone that we've been engaging with on the comment section. What's in the name? What we'll start doing now, guys, I think we should start giving two people a shout out on the same day yeah. because people are falling down, you know. But we care about you, you know. Yeah, anyway. Today we are joined by Umis, KZN Queen, finalist. Yes. I will introduce. Yes. Um, thank you guys. First of all, I would like to thank you for voting for me, for those who have voted already. And please guys, do not give up. Please continue to vote. I am Samgeli Siwem Temu, Miss Kaylin and Queen, finalist 2023. Anyway, as come again, as come again, move right foot. I'm glad I I get It's interesting. So today is Alangane, Miss I would like to know, uh, who are the two guys who are, who are loaned out? So the two guys that are getting loaned out is Ule Sako, not Gary Machek. Uh, so in the Bagale Sako no Machek, I, I talked to you guys a few weeks ago about Tuguti. They are getting loaned. They were still waiting for each chiefs to decide to go to what they were going to do with them. Now Ule Sako, as you know, he's a defender and then Machek is a defensive midfielder but can also play the center back. I think this is a good idea because Ben X is good to battle with Chiefs because they're going to be benched in any case, you know. So I don't know. What do you think? I agree, sir. Like having players just sitting on the bench doing nothing. Yeah. yeah. It's not good for us, not good for them. You're wasting bench space. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And for them, you're destroying them. Like, mm. you bring that to destroy you. It probably hurts True. also. You're watching people play every game when you do the best you have. <laughs> you don't know when you're gonna get your next shot. So yeah. at least we get some game time, hopefully, and then come back better players. Yeah, because that's that's interesting. Because even if you look at those places, there's no way they're going to play. <laughs> yeah, well, in any case, Chiefs just promoted Aiden McCarthy, centre back, defensive midfielders with plenty of choices. And what I like is that they are going to Swallows and they will be starting. I, I hope so. I hope they start because then they get those minutes under their pen. So we'll see. It will be interesting. Awesome. So what do you have to say about Musi Mashab? Musi Mashab has no memes. So this this guy bas click pay till an English kamali pe panda. Nenda waga Musi Mashab. For those of you who don't know about Musi Mashab, he is in a performance analyst and he's been working with Uphito Musimane. We sent downs and then he did the same thing. We are now. The newspaper that I will mention <laughs> wrote it on Simani and Chris' personal terms with Chips. I'm like, oh no, what's going on here? What is going on? Even I was shocked. I was like, I was telling you the sun down. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three coaches now just standing there <laughs> shouting orders. <laughs> but I think it's it's interesting because we have a student who's doing psychology. Nati Jira Manje. Come because he yeah, also a like performance analyst, but the reason why I'm going to bring him into this is because there are things that a is not about is just the coach and that's it. How important do you think psychology is like in day-to-day -day things that we do as human beings? I think it's very important because um, then it comes, uh, the mental um, health issues come in. So like all the time, your mind needs to be functioning, like thinking positively. And cause all this comes to how you live your life sure. on a daily basis. So you need to be, you need to have like a healthy mind. Mm -hmm. So if the coach comes in there um, to coach the guys and there are things that he's going through, like uh, maybe, uh, break up or something <laughs> so he yeah. needs to be able to deal to deal with that accordingly sure. otherwise he's going to be like satisfying everyone like i'm crazy and 
people some of them say man you know the coach lona all the time he has had the sure. issues that he needs to deal with personally yeah. so yeah. i think it's important to take care of our mental health yeah so because slindong we we focus our way because we have already signed u scorer uh, to come and help us on the athletic side yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what do you think about this thing your google and my club now i think it's a good idea because if we're going to revamp this stuff from the bottom up mm. we need to start in the training field obviously mm. with players but before the training field we need to make sure players are prepared to be on the field in the first place sure so i think these kind of things really do help mm. and for Umtopano Musi who's going to even analyze games yeah, sure. and ensure that we were playing better we know when we're making mistakes it's going to help us cuz mm. clearly we're doing something new we're on an ambitious project sure. yeah. so we need this kind of person in our pocket right now yeah if you wonder because i'm i'm saying lend your mental towards because it's it's something umuza umuza so is uh analyzer for instance you know oh chiefs performs well in the first 15 minutes but something happens after that mm-hmm. and then we look at that problem and so there's something deeper maybe but like they lose concentration maybe it's because of this and teams like Liverpool there was a picture where they were making a meme about to trend because there were all these things like connected to his head mm-hmm. to check out what lights up when he does this what lights up when he does that and in that way it has kind of enhanced the performance of Adlani like him and i don't i think each of these should continue getting people like that like homos and performance like abaya bazo sisa dalal physical trainers and all of that so next is in vele it will just be interesting to watch and see how we perform given the addition that now that you talking about that i'm actually thinking um like anything can be a trigger for someone so i'm just thinking about when players are playing and and all of a sudden something changes as you were saying and all is fine that maybe he stole someone who looks like someone and then all of a sudden <laughs> they're like yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> a trigger right there so you need to be able all the time to deal with it if you are triggered you need to be able to manage mm. the trigger what okay no uh, this is not what i'm supposed to be focusing on right mm. now now i'm supposed to be playing the game yeah. so yeah Going forward, uh, let's talk about Tabo Mkwena. So, in the world of Tabo, mostly it's interesting because we were talking before we started recording. So, Tabo Mkwena was sent to Pretoria Kelis, yeah? For a long last season, right? And then, what you know, the Pretoria Kelis is a <laughs> <laughs> And then, James extended his contract by two and a half years. You said something. What was this thing that you said in for doing urban buying, you know? What I said was, like, you've been loaned out, and when they like, thank you, your boy, that six months Imagine. before you're supposed to come back. Imagine. <laughs> that is, I don't, I, I don't know. Is that more I can say? <laughs> that speaks to the performance they've seen. What is your boy? Like, I, I just don't <laughs> care. Because here's the thing, I think Mshampe I have not seen him play. I want you guys to tell us yeah. if you've seen him play, but he watched him play. Because to me, extending a contract target by two and a half years after being released from the loan, it says to me they probably believe in him, the Chiefs, and mm-hmm. they know his potential. But there is something maybe that's happening that we don't know about, and that's why they extended his contract so that maybe they can watch him develop and sell him. But it also kind of raises a mafia to go to war. How do you go away for six months? You know, who turns back like a free there? gift? <laughs> like, oh, thank you for the gift. That's it's not like, oh, you can have the gift back. Thank you. Thank yeah, you imagine. It, 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 it doesn't It doesn't make sense. Yeah, 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 mama's a bad. So please do make sure to subscribe because I see eighty percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So please. Do subscribe to the channel. Uh next what are we talking about? We are talking about Sinesi Pogmali. Why was he suspended? 
<laughs> Why was he suspended? We we are yet to find out. <laughs> Chiefs haven't released an official statement, but we hear that it's misconduct. So now the real question is, what kind of misconduct? Mm. Um, so both of you don't know, since Fumali is a scout. Mm. So we, find, we need to find out what kind of misconduct. Did he slip a player into um, trials for a bribe? There's a lot of things that, could be, that he could have done mm. yeah. that classifies misconduct. So we aren't really sure right now. Or oh, at least I'm not sure from what I'm saying. I don't want to speak for everybody. <laughs> they say they know, but... As far mm-hmm. as I know, Chiefs haven't made any official statements. All we know is he's being suspended. Because if, imagine like, because it's this thing that we've asked, a question that we've asked before, we'll see. Like, who scouts these players? At times, you just watch Bafana Bafana or some team in PSL, and then you ask yourself, <laughs> who scouted this guy? And if Bafana Ugut, I hope, well, I don't know what I hope it's what, but I hope maybe the, the reports are false, you know, and there's, but if there's misconduct, any kind of misconduct yeah. is misconduct. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, so man, Jack, and if we were to ban you, I hope it, it would mean it's a good thing for Chiefs because then that means we're getting rid of corruption. I mean, it's a we country, there is a lot of corruption. And then now if we have a team, that is also corrupt. I yeah. that that won't fly. But we'll see what chips will say in in the coming days. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the last one is Katlejo Makate. Katlejo. We've been speaking about him for the yeah. past three days. <laughs> but apparently, um, according to his agent, Richard Bay is the only team that have put in an official offer, mm-hmm. and you know we're just. Uh, speaking about it, that's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Instead of putting in an official offer, but hopefully we'll do something like let's say choose but we'll see I think it right. But I, I had a question on the Do you think he's twenty three? Yeah. Do you think it would be a good idea to let him go to Richards Bay for the next two season or even one season and then some land that will let's say provide a PSL? Uh it's nice it's been improved in some of the PSL. It's a whole different dimension. It's interesting that you guys are bringing the proving part back. <laughs> yeah, it's like adding a different dynamic. Yeah. Because for one, we could just say, all right, let's take him, put him in the Chiefs lineup, and let's rock. But he's not in the PSL. Mm. <laughs> so we really don't know how he'll fit, um, how he'll adapt Jay, to play, even play most of the football in South Africa. Because even when like, all of that things, Apparently, have an impact on players. So they do. But then he was from Lesotho, so he was a Tifishi fan. So, except to the Suti Banda. Yes. <laughs> yes so now, you're going to come, you're gonna come to KZN on a hot day. You're going to go to the Popo on a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind. But for me, I think, I don't know. I don't think so, though. Because the problem with my face is if he becomes really good there, we have to pay way more money for him True. than we would have gotten for now mm. and if Arthur wants him now and sees potential we're hoping we can also grow and make sure that he does end up performing yeah mm. and then at the end of the day we can make money in two or three years time when mm. someone else tries to snatch him sundowns i know they're gonna try and snatch him <laughs> <laughs> but, get, yeah uh, yeah more yeah. so it's a bit of both, but for me personally, I'd like to see him come play. Because who else do we have as an option right now? That's my problem. Yeah. We can't just have Uti Pri up there. We really can't. Okay, okay, Caleb, apparently, Gatlin and Caleb. Okay, but who else? We can't have two strikers, and that's it for us. We can't. You need that. your conja, mission, impossible effect. So, guys, again, please make sure to subscribe to this channel awesome this is me guys so don't forget to vote for me i, I will really appreciate it please please it's free it's, it's free, free on facebook free yeah we'll leave a link on the description and we'll also pin a comment so please make sure to what vote <laughs> please make sure to vote guys 
We are catching up with the other ladies and uh Miss Kaze and M Queen went to Audo someday, Hang up on your moon to Kube. I trust you guys. Yeah, so I've never booked up to this point. I know but uh, 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 uh the real one no, yeah. uh, the royal no, ones. Uh so Stolus Valela Mam Tebos or Matis in it as Valero Tandas. The right place, <laughs> the right time. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you on the next video. And until next time, remember, Ecos, I'll tell you more. Yeah.